Hello everyone, Charcoal here, and welcome to another discussion video. This week's video was originally going to be a closer look at Silkwings and Hivewings, but there's some urgent stuff to talk about here, and I didn't want to be too late to the party. About a year ago, I mentioned I wanted to wait to talk about the Wings of Fire Netflix series until we got more substantial news about it. Well, we certainly got news. The series is cancelled. So, I guess now's the time. I'm gonna go over three things, the timeline of events, what I think went wrong that led to the cancellation, and some potential hope for the future. Let's start at the beginning. In March 2020, Netflix and Warner Brothers announced that they would be producing an animated adaptation of the Wings of Fire books, led by Ava DuVernay with Tui herself as an executive producer to ensure her work was adapted faithfully. This took the fandom by storm. It was what we had wanted for years. When I saw the announcement, I lost my frickin' mind. In spring 2021, it was announced that the show would be 3D animated, and the first season would be 10 episodes, 40 minutes each. Supposedly, season 1 would have only been the first book and not the whole first arc, but I couldn't find a solid source for that. In April 2022, the series, quote, had left pre-production and begun filming. This is a poor choice of words, so let me explain. This means that they had at least finished writing the scripts, and they had started either recording the voices, or they already had the voices recorded and started animating. But then, on May 17th, 2022, Netflix announced that the series was cancelled. Part of me was shocked, another part really wasn't surprised and should have known this would happen, but overall I was just left wondering, why? When Netflix cancelled the show, they claimed it was because of creative differences, which sounds kinda like bullshit to me, but I can sort of see where they're coming from. If they wanted a Wings of Fire show to turn out right, it would require passion, heart, dedication to leave a lasting impact on viewers, and as Netflix has made abundantly clear, a show like that doesn't exactly mesh well with their current priorities. Shows that are simple and easy to make with the sole purpose of giving parents a way to get their kids to sit still for a little while. Netflix also claimed the cancellation had nothing to do with costs, which sounds a lot like bullshit to me. It's no secret Netflix hasn't been doing well financially, and it doesn't take a genius to see why. Between raising prices, cracking down on account sharing, and the looming possibility of adding commercials, Netflix has been losing a lot of subscribers, so they tried to cut costs by throwing several of their projects in the trash. Throw in the quote-unquote creative differences I just talked about, and it's no wonder Wings of Fire got caught up in all this. But I think the reasoning runs a bit deeper than that. Why, specifically, did Netflix decide to axe Wings of Fire? There's no official confirmation for this, but here's what I personally think. I believe the real reason Wings of Fire was cancelled was Netflix and Warner Brothers' failure to market the show properly. Let me put things into perspective. The show's announcement came out in March 2020, the format was announced over a year later, and another year later was when we learned they had finished writing. Two whole years, and throughout none of this were we ever shown any concept art or official character designs or told who any of the voice actors were, even when we know they must have casted at least some of them. With so little information over such a long time, people stopped talking about the show eventually, because we weren't being given anything new and exciting to talk about. I think Netflix saw the lack of publicity and assumed the idea was dead, but in reality, that couldn't be further from the truth. Which brings me to my last topic. Something I've neglected to mention until now is what happened in the wake of the cancellation. It was announced on May 17th, and that very same night, the Twitter hashtag SaveWingsOfFire reached the number one trending spot. Countless fans were coming together and speaking up to tell Netflix they were making the wrong decision. On top of that, there's currently a petition on Change.org to get the show revived, with over 5,000 signatures. If it wasn't clear before that this is a show people want to see, it definitely is now. So, what happens next? Short answer, we don't know. Long answer, well, let me explain. Netflix does not own the show. Warner Brothers does. Even if Netflix doesn't resume production, another service could pick it back up, like HBO Max or Paramount+. Plus. Whether or not one actually will, again, we don't know. All we can really do at this point is hope. Hope that someone comes along who sees the potential in this show and is willing to take the risk. And personally, I'm optimistic. Time for this week's featured fan art. We've got pieces from Frey Bird, Tonka, Stormy, Dusk, and NVC. Thanks a bunch, guys, and if any of you want to submit your own fan art, you can do so in my Discord server. This has been Wings of Charcoal, and I will see you all in the next video.